Okay, we remove the bolt and remove the carrier from the reducer. Remove all the bolts and the carriers. Remove cap or carrier with the shims and always keep the shims with the carrier or cap. This is a shim. It could be metal or plastic. Always keep it with the carrier you take it off with. Remove the pinion from the gearbox and this is the wear sleeve or wear ring that we have to remove. We support the pinion or worm this way and chisel three, about three different locations without hitting the pinion. Make sure you don't hit the pinion. There's the wearing. We move the old wear sleeve or wearing. We check this diameter, make sure it's no damage and it's clean. If it is any damage, make sure we sand it smooth. We'll press this wear sleeve on to about eighth inch from the uh, chamfer, and you can um, look at our assembly instruction um, booklet, you know, give you a reference on that. This is the new air sleeve we're going to put in. Now we put um, look, uh, lubrication, grease or oil on it. Set it up on top of the worm. Get a driver that supports on this lip. Piece of pipe or anything like that. And also make sure that you support the pinion without being on the bearing cage on the bottom. So you do not damage the bearing cage. We got the wear sleeve on there. You can put the wear sleeve on with a hydraulic press or a hammer as this, but make sure you support the lip underneath the wear sleeve and do not damage this part of the wearing. Locate it within an eighth of an inch of the chamfer and clean any chips or anything around it. There you go. Now I'm going to remove the old seal, just take a piece of key stock or something. Do not hit the edge of the carrier. Just pop the old seal out as like this. We have the output shaft removed so it's easier to put the in, uh, input pinion in, put it back into the housing. Favorite tool is a hammer. Get the cut back into the housing. Make sure you have the same shims and carrier together shims and carry it together. Put that under and put all your bolts in. We have the pinion in and we make sure there's no sharp edges on the keyway or anything like that. What we do now is grease the outside and inside, inside and outside of the lip and also put some grease on here. At our factory we have a protection to help to hold the seal and the and uh, spring together. But if you don't have that, 
try to find something that sleeve that does work but just make sure it's greased very very well put over pinion and find something that's flush to hit the flush with the carrier there it is it's flush with the face of the carrier and you're done okay okay and when we get done you can see where the wearing is sticking past the seal lip and an eighth inch away from the chamfer and the outside of the seal is flush with the carrier